Praise the Lord, everybody, Praise and God Lord. bless you. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Gospel Hour with Pastor Leon. I'm your host, Pastor Leon, and I have some friends that have come along beside me to brighten your day. As always, this show is designed to give God all the glory, the praise, and we want to lift his name on high. Our special guest is the Omega Baptist Church men's course, along with Minister John Robinson from the Omega Baptist Church, and also Minister Alice Curtsy from the Mount Olive Baptist Church. Both churches are here uh, in Dayton, Ohio. And you're going to be blessed as they minister and talk to you. Now, what I want you to do is get on the phone, computer, and text, call someone, and let them know that the Gospel Hour with Pastor Leon is on, and invite them to come and share this special moment with us. And while you're doing this, I want to share this song about the love of God. I want you to know I really love God. <clears throat> I really love you I really love you Jesus Because you first loved me I really love you Yes I do I really love you And I praise you too because you first loved me I really love you Yes, I do I really love you, Jesus I Worship and I praise you, Jesus Because you first loved me I really love you Oh, how can you love me knowing all the things I've done? And then you showed me when you gave your only son. I really love you. I really love you. I do. How can you love me knowing all the wrong I've done? And then you showed me when you gave your only son. I really love you. I really love you. I really love you. I really love you. Because you first love me. I really love you. sing that song all the time because I love him all the time and I know you do too I tell you you don't know my story and I don't know your story but uh, uh, I, I bet you God is in your story amen just like he's in my story and so we're excited to to come back uh, and share the love of Christ with you today 
Uh, Minister Robinson is no stranger to the Gospel Hour, and he's going to bring our Bible message. And what I want you to do is just breathe in, just breathe in the love of God and take in his word, for his word is afresh. It's like his mercy that's new every morning. And I tell you, uh, I know the word saved me. The word got me right. Amen. And the word is like a medicine. Amen. If you just, all you have to do is just, just, just breathe it in, just listen, because the word is a seed, and it'll come up, and it will flourish. So, Minister John is going to come and bless us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Leon. It's an honor and a privilege to be with you again. Oh, uh, yes, sir. You. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, it, sir. It's been a minute, <laughs> you know, with uh, the things that we're dealing with out here in society still with yes. the COVID and the precautions that we had to take and, you know, those type of things that, that, that can get us discouraged and, and, you know, with the protocols that we had to go through, you got to mask up to go in the stores and, and, and on the job and certain restaurants, uh, you know, you are requiring you to wear a mask on the inside until you sit down. <laughs> so those are challenging times and, and, and a lot of stuff still hasn't opened all the way yeah. back up. Uh, one of the things that uh, we can do as uh, Christians and it is, it is follow the rules <laughs> and do what we can and, and, and use the resources that we have. That we have. Yeah, to, 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 to make this transition. Amen. You know, we got, we got to make this transition uh, 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 a lot more enjoyable in, instead of being depressed about the changes mm. that we're having to go through. Mm. Um, mm. We, we have a lot of advantages today that uh, they didn't have in the 1900 when the first one, 1901, when they had that first this uh, pandemic. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so we, we're, we're more fortunate today, and we have to use those resources online. Amen. Um, you know, Bible studies, online church services. We have YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we have all of these uh, uh, devices and media outlets that, that can help us. Amen. And the word. And Amen. the word. Yeah, you, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Praise God. So we can always go into that. And yeah. I just wanted to touch on that because I know that uh, a lot of people out there are suffering and not, not knowing how to get, get involved. In, and it's, <laughs> it's important. Thank it's important that, that, that we uh, use those resources, the, the media, the YouTubes, the Zoom meetings, platforms, and things Amen. of that nature. Amen. So I, I just want to take a second before I get into it. I just wanted to cover that a little bit, Pastor. If you mind. Uh, take a minute uh, to pray. Uh, you, Father God, may your words you, come Jesus. out of my mouth. Be yes, pleasing sir. unto your sight, God. May, may it help someone, Lord, and we know your word will not return to you void. Bless the word and bless the reading of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Pastor uh, Leon, I, I just wanted to, uh, again, thank you uh -huh. and uh, for inviting us, you know. Uh, we, we're a team effort. I, I, I enjoy the men when we come together and uh, we, we do some uh, singing together because we love to praise the Lord as well. But what I'd like to uh, start off with uh, for, the, for the Bible uh, lesson today, uh, uh, Pastor Leon, is John 5, okay. <laughs> 1 through 9. It says here, uh, Jesus heals a lame man. And I'm reading out of the, uh, the recovery Bible. It says, afterward, Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish holidays. Mm -hmm. Inside the city near the sheep gate was the pool of Bethesda mm -hmm. with five covered porches. Crowds of sick people, blind, lame, or paralyzed, lay on the porches. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him, and knew he had been ill for a long time. He asked him, do you want to get well? And the man said, I can't, sir, <laughs> for I have no one to put me in the pool when the water bubbles up. There's always someone else there ahead of me. So Jesus told him, stand up, pick up your mat <laughs> and walk. Instantly, the man Amen. was healed. Amen. He rolled up his mat <laughs> and began walking. And began walking. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to ask, what has me lame? <laughs> what has me lame? What has me stuck in my sin <laughs> that I can't pick up my mat and walk and do God's will? <laughs> you know. 
Uh, <laughs> so let's look at the definition of lame. Lame says, it says the definition, first one, having a body part, especially a limb, so disabled as to impair, impair your freedom of movement. Mm -hmm. Example, the accident left him lame. Market stiffness or soreness, a lame shoulder, lacking needful or desirable substance, mm -hmm. weak. weak. So when we look at that word and we understand that it's an effectual uh, part of our body, sometimes we have lame excuses. <laughs> Right, we we we'll come up with a lame, lame excuse. excuse. Right, yeah. Why not just tell the truth? Yeah. Right, but we'll give it a lame excuse and be like, "Oh man, you know." And, and it's like people see right through it, right? Because we have the power to change. Hey. See, Jesus asked the man, "Do you want to get well?" <laughs> right. And the man came up with a lame excuse. Well, Jesus, every time I get ready to get, in, I ain't got nobody to put me in there. First, yeah. he said. And then when I, I, I make it over, there's somebody that got in there before I do. They didn't got the healing, and got I did. The healing. <laughs> right. So right. sometimes we can look for man. Amen. But where's Jesus mm -hmm. is the healer. Right? We looking Amen. for somebody to do something for us when God is saying, I got you. Amen. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Trust in me. Ask me to heal you. You want to be healed? I can't move. Lord. I ain't asking you if you can move. That's not the question. Yeah. You want to be healed. You want to get want well. <laughs> Do you want to get well? Do you yeah. want to be well? Yeah. But we'll stay stuck in those situations, those lifestyles, and, and those attitudes and beliefs that keep us stuck. And what have you had you stuck for the last few years? <laughs> we can go and use things such as we can use our anger. Mm -hmm. We can use substances. We can find any excuse to say, because one of the things about that, we had discussed this in our Bible school class, and one of the things that it was an interesting topic because we had different things, and mm -hmm. I liked that. You know, I was like, wow, right? It's like it never said what his ailment was. <laughs> we assume. Uh -huh. See, we assume he was lame because he laying around what? Lame people. <laughs> he laying around paralyzed people, right? So you can't tell what, what his ailment is because you laying there amongst the, all of them, rest of them, right? If they had an eagle and a, a baby eagle was hanging around some chickens, right? And he never fly because he's hanging with chickens, so you can't tell that you didn't know he looked a little different. And it's like, you're supposed to be flying, man. What are we supposed to be doing in God that God wants us to do, but we're staying stuck in places where we shouldn't be? Amen. We're laying beside the pool. The waters are being stirred. We know it's something in our heart that's telling us Amen. God wants something better for you. God has a, chore, a job for you, but we want to say, well, ain't nobody called me, Lord. I don't have a church, Lord. Amen. <laughs> so we have to be, we have to move. Move. See, God said what? He said, get up. <laughs> and we have to get up. I hear you. We have to walk. <laughs> pick up our mat. Yeah. And move on. And move on. And let the Lord guide us. I hear you, bro. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Amen. Minister said, what has you stuck? Amen. Is it lame excuses? God wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. Yes. And you know, if he's God in one thing, he's God in all things. Yes, sir. If he's God in the big stuff, yes. he's God in the little stuff. Yes. And if he's God in the little stuff, he's God in the big stuff. <laughs> if he's God in one thing, He's God in all things. Yes, Lord. So what we have to do is let God be God and let go and let God. I don't Amen. know what, what pool you're at right now, Yes. but God is there. He knows where you are. You don't have to. He's, he knows he's right there. Yes. And what you have to do when you hear his voice, say, God, just touch my body. Heal me in Jesus' name. You do know by his stripes. Mm. You do know he was wounded. Yes. 
for us. He was bruised yes. for us. The chastisement of his peace was for us. And with his stripes, not going to be, we are healed yes, sir. in his name. Thank come on, come on, come on. Somebody Thank say, I'm healed. I'm healed. just healed. healed. I declare healed. I'm healed. Yes. I decree by the blood of Jesus, I'm healed. Amen. I Amen. celebrate with you. Amen. Amen. And welcome you to Christ uh, 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 at this hour. We have the Omega Baptist men, and I tell you, they're on fire. Amen. Yes, sir. So I had called a fire department and had them on call. Amen. Amen. Because your soul is going to be uh, uh, so rested when you hear them. And just lift your hands. And I always tell you, go in the kitchen, get a pot and a pan and bang it while they sing. Just bang it. Amen. Give God all, because he, he deserves all the glory. He deserves all of the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We like, we like to give honor to God who has always heard our lame excuses and still brings us here. <laughs> and we want to thank Pastor Leon for inviting us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you know, as, as we came together and, and God put us on that narrow path, yes, sir. and all of us, they had things in our life, and we finally got on that narrow path. Yes, and as we as men saw ourselves, and we had got in step. And as long as we was in step on that narrow path, we knew that we could help each other. And one of, one of us fell off that path, we got back in step, and we went on. Uh -huh. So the Lord could bless us, and he did. Yes, sir. Right now, we just like to bring a little song. As we get in step going down that path, yeah. a little song comes to mind, and we sing as we're marching down that path. Yes, sir. <clears throat> There's coming a day when the Lord's coming down. Steady my trembling soul. I know my feet will be heaven bound. Steady my trembling soul. And when I'm listening for my name at the pearly gates, I pray my weary boys don't hesitate. Steady my hands, steady my feet. When St. Peter calls out the road. Steady my tongue, steady my mouth, steady my trembling soul. I've been walking with the Lord for many a year. Steady my trembling soul. I'm trying to follow Jesus while I'm living here. Steady my trembling soul. For the man who taught me not to be afraid. I have to kneel down on the path I've made. Steady my hands, steady my feet, when St. Peter calls out the road. Steady my tongue, steady my mouth, steady my trembling soul. There's coming a day when the Lord's coming down. Steady my trembling soul. I know my feet will be heaven bound. Steady my trembling soul. And when I'm listening for on, my name right. at the pearly gates, I pray my weary boys don't hesitate. Steady my hands, steady my feet, when St. Peter calls out the road. Steady my tongue, steady my mouth, steady my trembling soul. With the Lord for many a year. Steady my trembling soul. I'm trying to follow Jesus while I'm living here. Steady my trembling soul. Of the man who taught me Pray. not to be afraid. I have to kneel down on the path I've made. Steady my hands, steady my feet. When St. Peter calls out the road, steady my tongue. Steady my mouth, steady my trembling soul. Steady, 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 steady my hands, steady my feet, steady my tongue, steady my mouth, steady my trembling soul. I've been running yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. All right. <clears throat> for a long time, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. trying to make That's right. Come on, break. heaven yes, sir. my yes, sir. home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've 
been running. I've been running for a long time. Trying to make, make hell heaven my home. Hey, I've been running. I've been running for a long time.
trying to make heaven my home. Amen. Yeah, yeah amen. Amen. I D. Yes, sir. Glory amen. Glory to God. Bless his wonderful name. God yes. is so good, and we're so thankful that we have ears to hear tonight. Yes, sir. And uh, we thank God for his presence. I like what that brother said. He says, I've, I'm determined. Yeah. I got a made-up mind. Amen. Yes, and I'm going to see Jesus one of these old days. And so we have to, to, to do that uh, in this Christian walk. This COVID has yes. certainly been a challenge. Yes, Lord. And many people say that this is God's doom and gloom and all of that. But uh -huh. all I do know that uh, I, don't, I don't get into all that. All right, I know right, that right. God is sovereign. <laughs> Yes, he is. And in Amen. his permissive Amen. will, he allows things, like you said earlier, with, with this pandemic. This is not the first one. Right. And God is ever present. So we need yes, to sir. learn what is the lesson yes. in this for us. There's right. a lesson. And what we don't want to do, if we miss the lesson, I don't want you to miss God. Yes. But God is in the lesson. Yes. Amen. And sometimes Amen. that's how Amen. we get it because we get the lesson. Amen. So uh, first thing. We got to keep our cool. We got to acknowledge that God is still God. Yes. God got the whole world yes, in his hands. In he his got hand. the whole world. He got your problems in yes. his hand. Yes. He got the answer in, in his, his hand. hand. Okay. And so we see, I, I want to read this scripture to you. It says, and for we uh, know that all things are going to work together for the good of those that love God. Yes. And to those who are called according to to his purpose. God got a purpose. Yes. Amen. He got a purpose for all of us, and we want to thank God for that. Yes. But many of us stop with the 28th verse, mm -hmm. Romans 8, 28. But 29, I want you to know, goes with 28. Uh -huh. And many of us uh, uh, complain that God didn't do that. It says God's going to work out. Well, let me mm -hmm. tell you, it is going to work out. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and the sooner you get the lesson, yeah. you, Go it's going to work Go out. Ahead. You got to get the lesson. Amen. God ain't playing with us. He's God. He's sovereign. Yes. He, he's not going to change. Matthew, uh, I mean Malachi uh, 3, 6 says, I am God. I change not. Right. This, therefore, uh, Israel, you have not been consumed. And then he goes on to, and, and 3, 10, try me and see. Yeah. Got something to be reckoned with. Amen. Yes. Listen, God should never be brought down. God is holy. Yes, sir. He's not our ace boom cool. That's right. He's not our best friend. Right. There's nobody yeah. like He's God. No, sir. Amen. No, sir. He's, He's awesome, and we should and always yes, sir. honor him. Yes, sir. Amen. You don't get in front of God and shake your, uh, excuse me, you don't get in front of God and act like he's one of you. Yes. Amen. You, you, you dance in, in reverence. You sing yes. in reverence. You pray in reverence. Yes. You give in reverence. Yes, you preach in reverence. And when you have that knowledge of his presence, you live in reverence. Yes, sir. In his reverence, there's nobody like God. Yes, but look sir. at what 29 says. It goes with 28. Mm -hmm. This is the reason he's going to do 28, called 29 is what he's trying to do to us. Uh -huh. It says, for whom he did foreknew, he also predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son. Ah. God foreknew us. Yes, sir. He foreknew you, yeah, so he put he you on a path uh -huh. that you would be on and you would come to this present time. Yes, sir. He said, for, he foreknew us uh -huh. before we were born, so he yes, was able to predestinate us. Yes, sir. Because he knew us. He knew yeah. that we're not going to be, we can be born in Mississippi, but we're going to grow up in Ohio. Yes, Amen. Sir. Amen. God foreknew Amen. us. And it's going to work out for our good. Why? It says it here. So we can be conformed to the image of his son. Ah, how we God do is not ask, God is not going to fix things for us to go out and act a clown. That's right. He's not going to fix us for us to go around uh, uh, Satan and wear us out. He says, I'm going to work it out so you can go back to being like the image of oh, my, my son. son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did he do? Let there be light and bam, there was light. Ah. Amen. We, got Amen. To, we got to make our decrees and declarations from our yes, mouth sir. and from our soul because that's what God, he says, is going to work out because I want you to be like my son. Mm. And when we Understand that he'll work it on out. Yes, sir. Are you ready to be like my son? Yes, nope. Well, I ain't, this ain't gonna work this for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> before, before my word uh -huh. fell, heaven and earth gonna we'll pass crunch. away. That's right. That's no. right. 
And, but he said, my word will accomplish what I, I sent it out to, to do. do. And, yes, sir. And, and, and see, time uh, uh, is in God. God is not in time. Ooh. God got the whole world in his hand. Yeah. And God loves you. God loves Amen. you so much that he wants us to be like his son. Mm. Amen. I, Amen. He wants us. That's, that's great love. You know, you know, Jesus, the healer, Jesus. <laughs> Just nobody yeah. like Jesus. That's right. No, I'm nobody. talking about the one, the one that said, hey, peace. You keep quiet. Mm. Lazarus, come forth. Yeah. He yes, wants sir. us to be like him. Yes, sir. Yes. So he's going to work it out for your good. Yes, he is. The good and the bad. And what we have to let God be God. Yeah. And we just have to come to grips. Yes, we are not God. Yes, sir. I, I, there was a yeah. great awakening when I found that out, that I was not God. <laughs> that was a great awakening. Yes, sir. Yes, I was sir. not God. I like that word, Pastor. I, I like that. Because what you're saying is, if we want to be like Christ, we got to do what? Conform to him. Huh? To his image. So we got to get up and do something. Huh? We got to pick up our mat and walk. <laughs> We, 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 we can't lay beside the pool and make lame excuses of why we're not doing what we're supposed to do. And when you get up, pick somebody else up. Yes, sir. Amen. Don't just leave them lay, laying there. Right. Yeah. And it, 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 you know, people got out, to, out of Egypt, <laughs> went into the wilderness, and died. Yes. Some of you need, need to listen to me. Listen, you need to say right now, I will not die in my wilderness. Right. Amen. When there's a promise, Amen. promised land waiting for me, and I'm going to die in the in my wilderness, everybody got a wilderness. Amen. And, and some days I go through it, I say, let me shut my mouth. I don't want them to complain because I want to hurry up and get up out of here. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because I read the end of the book. I got a promised land waiting yes, on sir. me. Yes, sir. I don't want to go back. Right. I will not die in my wilderness. wilderness. I'm Ooh. telling you, I will not die. Yes, God sir. is for me. And so we need to learn these lessons. And we need to ask God, what? What is my lesson? Yes. In this, do I see God or do I see the pandemic? Mm. God is sovereign. Ooh. He does yes. what he want to do. He does what he needs to do for us. The Bible said when Job was at his worst, he lost everything. Mm -hmm. You know what Job did? He bowed and praised God. Yes, sir. He yes, bowed sir. and praised God. Be, yes, sir. And the Bible said he got more in the end. Than what he, what he had at first. Yes, sir. In the beginning. We got to acknowledge God in all our ways. And, and the word says, what? Just cast all your cares. On him. And the reason is that he cares. He cares. Amen. Yes, sir. You, you can make it. I, I, I believe they can make it through this pandemic. Yeah, of course. Of course. They keep and we're making it. <laughs> we're making it. We don't give in. We don't give out. Because God is endless. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. So he can see us through this. He's seen countless of these. He's seen it in the 1800s. Every 100 years almost it seemed like we have this, this epidemic type thing that goes through the nations, right? So if he's sovereign, <laughs> if he's all merciful, what is he calling me to do to get through this? Right? So we make those lame excuses. I can't go to church, so I might as well just sit and Netflix all day. Right? Instead of picking up the Bible and reading, now that I have time, people can't come over to, to my house. Get closer to yes, sir. Them. So when this pandemic is over, I mean, we got healing hands. So yes, sir. Pandemic, I'm just going to lay hands on folks. Yes, sir. And the Bible says they will recover. Yes. I'm going to speak life into, into people. Life. Amen. Amen. And there's a lot that we can be doing. Yes. Preparing for our exit. Yes, sir. Because we're going to exit this. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. Gotta Some people go. will die in the wilderness. But I don't want it to be you. I want you to live through this. I want you to live through this. Listen, we, he's sovereign. Yes, sir. He said, my ways are not your ways. You can't this, understand. This is for the scientists, too. Yes, sir. My ways ain't your ways. Yes, sir. My thoughts are not, not your, your thoughts. thoughts. And, 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 and he's God all by himself, but he's a God of love and he's yes. a God of mercy. So I thank God for my life. I, yes, I do sir. that. I survived this. And I thank God that all is well with God me right now. Amen. Yes, Amen. And, and, and for, uh, I thank God for this show. And I thank God for, uh, uh, in fact, this show is dedicated to Mr. Tony Day, who's not 
no longer with us. He went on to be with the Lord, and we thank God for his spirit and his presence, yes. even uh, being here today. Amen. I thank Amen. God for you stopping by. Yes, sir. Amen. It's an honor and a privilege. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. You, yes, I'm sir. a part of the staff, and we just <laughs> love God. Thank you for that word that yes, we sir. don't have to stay by the pool. That's right. We can get up. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Help somebody else. Help up. somebody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Praise God. Yes, sir. We have Minister Alice Curtsy with us, and she's going to come and bless us right now. So let's a say amen as, and welcome Sister Alice as she comes. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
Yes. I tell you, I feel like walking home, saying, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I feel like it. Amen. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. That strengthens me. Praise his name, brother. Pastor, good to be here with so you today. To you. Oh, God, Jesus, it is. Jesus, love Jesus, I huh? do, I do, you I do. I look, I thank the Lord for his love, and his name is great and greatly to be praised. Uh, we cannot forget that it was Jesus that came and shed his blood. This salvation that our mothers and fathers taught us about as children and we accepted him has kept me uh, <laughs> through my sin and we cannot forget that our world is in this condition because of sin and separation from the God that created the heaven and earth because this was not his desire mm -hmm. at all. But he's still in our midst. <laughs> but he is here. Come, Come Amen. still. And Amen. that's why Jesus my came. Is easy. And my burden, burden is, is life. And I came, yeah. yes. You what? My, I came Just to <laughs> forgive the world yeah. of sin. Yeah. And we say it all the time that God so loved the world my, my. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have, but have what? Amen. Everlasting life. We are Amen. eternal creatures, Amen. and God meant for us Amen. not to be separated from him. Now, so, since you went there, we might as well go there. Yes, indeed. John 3, 17. So we got on. to connect the word of yes, God. Yes, sir. God so says, for those that think this is gloom and doom, Jesus did not come into the world to, to condemn what? the world. That's right. But that the world might be saved. So whatever we're going through is something to help us get saved. Yes, sir. Amen. There it is. There it is right here. That's he it. said, I, didn't, I come that you might have life. And, and, have and if you can't be thankful for what you have, be thankful for what you escaped. Amen. <laughs> you, ex you escaped a lot. You ought to be thankful for what you don't yes, have. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So, Amen. You may not run as fast, but thank God you can still walk. Amen. 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 You may not have a steak, but thank God for the hot dog. Amen. Because he's going to, a steak coming along yes, after a while. Amen. Yes, he's yes, not a God that's yes, a far off. Yes. Yes. He's an eternal God. Yes. Yes. We cannot forget that he's coming. And he's coming like we a be ready in the night, right? It is not for us to uh, just catch <laughs> hold to the world, but we are on our way to eternity. And this love relationship, because it is not a religion, not it is a religion. not a building, it is a relationship between the Father because the son gave his life. And we have a relationship with God that just like he walked with Adam when he created him, he walks with us today. That's why we can go through anything and be all right because we have a father. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake my, you. My, my. Do we believe that? <laughs> and will we walk with him every day to love him because he has come for a love relationship with his creation. And he created us, he, like he you said, to be conformed to his image. And anything we're going through is to train us to be like God. <laughs> we are not God, but our characteristic, our Father. words, our deeds, what we do should be like God. So we can say, get up mm -hmm. off of that bed and Lord. walk. He's Hallelujah. giving you that authority Glory. because of the name of Jesus. Right now, as we're seated here, Jesus is praying for his people that we would represent Amen. the kingdom of God because that's where we're on our way to. <laughs> this world is not our home. Yeah. So like ah, yeah. you say, You're pandemic really has nothing my, to do my, my. with us. We had a charge and a command. He told the disciples, go ye therefore into all the world and preach this gospel uh -huh. that I have come to save you from sin. And I'll be with you. And I will be with you always. And so we're never alone. I thank the Lord Amen. for <laughs> growing me in my relationship to love him. And he has to be your first love. Uh, yeah. You cannot you have go. any my, other my, gods my. before Hallelujah. you. That's why he has to correct us from things that are not like him. And as long as we begin to trust and obey him, you'll begin to see, like the saints were singing, look, I'm running. <laughs> 
and I'm not going to turn back because he's touched me uh -huh. and he's made me whole. Amen. So I'm just grateful to be saved, Pastor. <laughs> I really, really am. God has cleaned my life up uh, completely. Uh, and I'm, I'm metamorphosing now into the characteristics mm -hmm. of the ways of God, teaching me how to talk right, how to treat people right. Even your enemy now, mind you, because the enemy is here and he is trying to put away the name of Jesus, but he cannot be put away. Hallelujah. Don't get me started because I'm telling you, there's no other name that I love talking about and no other person that I love more than the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. And I'll give him the glory Amen. the rest of uh, my days Amen. that I have in Amen. the earth. And I thank the Lord John for this 15. opportunity. John 15, the gospel of John 15, the 16th verse says, you have not chosen me. Yeah, I'll say that. But I've chosen you. So get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. God loves you. Yes. He said, yes. you didn't choose me. Yes, sir. I chose you. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, on top of that, he said, and I ordained you mm -hmm. that you should go forth and bring fruit and that your fruit shall remain. And whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name. In my name. He'll give it he'll to you. He'll give it to you. Amen. And he said, if the world hates you, know that it hated me first. That's it. That's it. You were not of the world because I called you out of the world. Yes. Therefore, the world hate you. Don't be mad at the world. God said, I did that. I called you out of the world. Amen. So the world hates you. God really does love us. Yes, he with does. With an everlasting love. He really does. And so what we have to do is learn to speak his name in power and with authority. And we pray and we ask God to do this and we ask God to do that. And God says, okay, uh, we ask God to help us. We ask God to help us. And God says, well, that's what I've been doing. You're sick. Help me, God. God said, okay, I'll give you some medicine because that's all you want is help. I'll give you a cane because that's what you're asking for is help. When we ought to be the people of God now, say, God, heal me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not help me. I know what you can do. That's for somebody. That's what you go and ask the doctor to do. But the healer. But the healer. He'll say, get up and walk. <laughs> yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, you, he will. I got that. We, we, I we, got that listen, lesson. And we, we pray those things. God, help me. God, help me. God says, okay, get in my word and I'm going to help you. So when you get up, you can decree and declare the same things you pray. Amen. God, help me. Do well today. Help me feel good. You get up with God and say, God, in yes, the name of Jesus, I declare that I'm going to be well today. Amen. I declare my church is going to be blessed. I declare my family is going to be saved. I declare by the power of God, I'm going to get along on this day. I will be the head and not the tail. I declare that I will be the lender and not the borrower. How I'm you? not going back to Egypt, and I'm not going to die in my world. You better wilderness. preach that up in here. I'm telling you, his word is true, declare. and his promises are are yea and, and amen, and we must begin to speak what he told us to say uh, from his word. And I'm, every day I'm learning. I'm learning how to be kind. I'm learning not have to, how to react oh, yeah. when somebody uh, <laughs> cuts me off because I used to say words. <laughs> You hear what I'm saying? And, and the Lord said, don't talk like that before me. We act like God is afar off. He is in us. He surrounds us. And you taught us a song that we live and breathe in the presence of God. So we must be careful what we do in the presence of a holy God. That's why I cannot talk any way. I cannot act any way. I need to be manifesting in my house <laughs> and wherever I go, the character of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right, and he amen. told us, and he went around, he said, doing good, <laughs> healing the sick. You hear what I'm saying? Preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God because we're on our way home, people. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, not yeah. here to stay. This world is not our home. 
please don't get tied into this and what's going on here. Amen. Now, for those who want the other God the, with the small g, y'all can have him. I served him too long. I will not serve him any longer. I will serve the true and living God who is Jesus, Amen. who was crucified, Amen. who shed his blood, Amen. who went and sat down at the right hand of the Father and said, it is finished. It's finished. Y'all belong Amen. to me, and we have life God. eternal. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless his I, great I, I name. Is coming closely. <laughs> I'm going to ask Brother John to come back up and, and stand with us. Amen. Uh, because uh, I, I do want you to have some information on how to reach uh, uh, these ministers and have them come and share uh, when the appropriate time comes. Uh, but know that they love you. Amen. Amen. And, and this is not a sacrifice. We're on a mission to help and to bless you in Jesus' name. So you might just want to tell them how they can reach you. Uh, I'm available. You can call Mount Olive Baptist Church, which is at 502 Pontiac, and they know how to get in touch with me. I thank the Lord for this privilege to be with my brothers <laughs> and to tell about Jesus. Amen. Call Mount Olive Baptist Church, 502 Pontiac. Pastor Williams is there, and they'll be able to get in touch with her. Amen. 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 And, and you? Uh, Pastor. <laughs> they, they can reach me at uh, my email, which is Robinson dot one four five six at gmail.com and I have a, a cell phone if, if you want to talk or pray get prayed over my number mm -hmm. is area code three three six nine six five two seven nine zero and, and that is not one of those telemarketing numbers <laughs> that's a North Carolina number <laughs> so I'm, I'm still <laughs> holding on to that I'm, I'm yet holding on fellas I'm yet holding on so yes, remember sir. that number three three six Area code 965-2790 from yes, Minister sir. John Robinson. Amen. If you want to get in contact with me, Pastor Leon, the Gospel Hour, email ESA54961 at yahoo.com. Again, ESA54961 at yahoo.com. The phone number is 937 Four zero nine four nine six six, and again, nine three seven four zero nine four nine six six. I just want the love of God to rest, rule, and abide in your life. Uh, I want you to know that you are somebody in Christ. Amen. 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 We thank God for our staff, my son and brother, and and for all those that have come out tonight to help us yes. magnify and lift the name of Jesus. Our prayer is with you. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, the blessing of God, may it be upon you until we meet again. Amen. This, Amen. this little light of mine, Amen. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, this yeah, yeah, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I tell you, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh.